hi guys good morning welcome back to my channel so today i said let me start this vlog because i wanted to show you guys what we bought so far for our babies yes as you know between my sister and i we are expecting three kids we've been calling them three plates because they are we are due you know a day apart from each other one person is having twins the other person is having one single baby so it's pretty exciting i'm going to keep you guys guessing someone said they already know the gender of my baby i was like how do you know they said um because they saw dust on my eyebrow like <laughs> i was laughing because me and my sister were standing side by side when we did that gender review so yeah it could have been anyone's babies it might not have been mine so don't be so confident keep guessing if you think you know what we are going to have just let me know in the comment section anyway so this video is essentially about showing you <sighs> i'm out of breath showing you what we bought for the babies so far um so it's a box it's a mixture of things like i said we we just bought a lot of things because we know i'm going to be here for a little while and yeah the babies are at the same going to be the same age so we just bought everything together okay so i'm going to show you everything that we bought so far including her own including my own all joint okay so yeah this is like a baby shopping haul slash vlog okay so where do i even start from let me start from here there's not a lot of space in here. We've packed everything in her baby's nursery because th pretty much that's where the babies are going to be staying most of the time. Um, uh, yeah, the changing table is there and everything. So, yeah, I'm going to be borrowing some of her things while I'm here till I go back. So, let me just show you what I have in here anyway. So, in here, I have some of the less bulky items like this um, breast pads, uh, this mom cozy um, handless breast pump. So this one is just for pumping, but you don't want to hold it or you don't want to be plugged into somewhere. Yeah, I wanted to try this. So this is my purchase. Then this one is a hacker. It's basically for collecting breast milk while you're breastfeeding the baby. Then this one is um, quick clean micro steam bags. It's basically, you want to sterilize baby's bottle and you want to do it in the microwave and you want to do it quickly. Put You wash it, put it inside here. 30 seconds, I'll be one minute in the microwave and it's basically as good as new. And then this one is breast milk storage bags. You people know my journey from the last time I was breastfeeding. This time around, I'm prepared. I have power, provalting, everything that's supposed to help me. And, you know, I'm ready. And my sister as well. We are both ready. You know, we are ready to conquer this. Hopefully, my experience this time around is a bit different. Okay? So, I have this, which the baby fits into. And I can just bath the baby in the sink directly. So, this is really easy to give the baby a bath. Since we don't have the, you know, traditional Nigerian bath set up. So this is another purchase so you know i've had a baby before so i try not to buy so many things that i thought were going to be useless like you know and I, stuff i already had in nigeria as well so in here we have alpha for alpha for never feels like to keep those babies moisturized then and we also have the which as in is so mild is what we use the first time as well we're going to use it this time around as well eventually i might change to like silver made or um what's it called Mostella, but we'll see. But I'm sure starting with this one, and my sister is as well. She also has a bunch of other things. This one is her own stuff. Then she's insisting on water wipes. Me, I don't really care for water wipes, but she's like, she used it for her other oh, two kids, so she might as well use it for this one as well. That is unfair. Me, I bought the Pampas Pure. So this is a diaper we are both using Pampas Swaddlers because it never fails and it's super easy to use. And um, she bought a diaper bin, which really does a good job keeping the smell of dirty diapers away you know um, and then you see this curry tree that cutlery i can't even pronounce it cutlery diapers okay like this was a whole discussion i told her let's buy and she was like no i mean she said let's buy i was like no i don't think it's necessary i'm okay with my swaddlers <laughs> but we shall after going back and forth i found this town's code and she finally bought them so i told her since i'm done i found this count code I'm going to take the percentage of the discount code <laughs> but they are supposed to be like non-toxic diapers okay for the babies and shall we see how it is me i believe that swaddlers works fine so there's no need for all this other smell smell and then there's a bunch of like bath toys baby toys and a lot more stuff in there which i don't have power to show you guys <laughs> i'm too lazy to then we have bassinet if you guys remember and baby swing this one i have it in nigeria so this is my sister's own. 
this one yeah she used to have one but they got rid of it and now they're having another baby it's her own i used last time i was here but this is a new one for her baby they've got a changing table which i'm so glad that there's room for it in this nursery because in nigeria there's no room for it in my nursery we just you know carry a flex a mobile changing mat and just change the baby as we go then she got a bouncer she got a bouncer I have my own, but I've not assembled it yet. She has already assembled her own, so we will shall switch. <laughs> I use each other so while we are here. And then this is another bath situation going on, but this one is like she lives here, so she can keep this. For me, it was just to. Okay, so this one is baby outlet. It's basically like a monitor for your baby while the baby is sleeping, and it's supposed to tell you if the baby's heart rate, everything is correct or is low or is just weird. It's supposed to allow you on your phone. My sister swears by it because she used it for her babies. But me, I'm like, Nigerian me is like, when you're looking at the baby and sleeping with the baby, is it really called for? Because one is like, how much? It's expensive. So I didn't think it was necessary. Unless you're leaving the baby unsupervised, which is like, never ever as a Nigerian. But she shall got it. And we're still arguing. She's debating if she should return it or not. So if, if she will allow me, I'll do a full nursery tour. But that one is later. Right now, I'm just going to go downstairs. Oh, it got dark. I'm sorry, guys. Hi, guys. Look at my mom. She's looking so beautiful. As in, this woman wakes up and just dresses up. This one is even casual outfit, though. This is unlike her. Meanwhile, her daughter, on the other hand, wakes up and just wears right. staying at home gown. She's tired of me. She has talk, 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 talk. But nothing is changing. It's just who I am. You're opposite me now. You're yes. Like your dad. Yes, I'm exactly opposite of her. Kiki led my mom. She even wearing huge earrings to stay at home, bracelets, everything. That's not me. Anyway, I want to make pound cake for my sister. So it's one of our favorite things that I'm making it today. I have everything lined up here. It's a very simple <laughs> recipe. I'm going to show you guys how I make it. It's also for Preppy Kitchen. I'll link it down below in case you want. But some of the rest, uh, ingredients are not accessible in Nigeria. See my mom telling and that we don't dress like her. So this is basically the batter of the pound cake. It looks so lush. It's like it's just amazing. The only problem is that it is sour cream, but that's what makes it so good. I'm just going to finish it by hand, then put it in the baking tray and bake it, and I'll show you the product when it's done. So the batter of this cake is actually quite thick, but the end result is always really, really nice. Like it's a dense cake, it's a pound cake. It's not like one of those runny batters, but finished product is always nice always always nice ah, so basically i just put the cake in the oven and i'm going to link the recipe down below it's by peppy kitchen and i love the guy you he has so many nice recipes as i said i've used a lot of them before so you can try it for yourself and see um so he uses sour cream in place of sour cream sour cream we are in nigeria i can just use yogurt full fat yogurt to replace it so it really makes nice cake and I find that using real butter to bake in this cake, in this case scary gold, it just makes it mwah. like real butter is everything and all butters are not equal. I'm telling you, real butter is not my dream. That's the difference I give it, okay? Anyway, um yeah, let me just chill a little bit because I have a hospital appointment today, so I'm going to do a non-stress test, which is basically a test to make sure baby's okay. Then yeah, so I need to just relax for like an hour before I go. I'll see you guys later. Our um, pound cake done set to it's pretty much done. So it took about 40 minutes to bake and this it's really good. Like that's what I remember. She'll be happy to see. Ah, I just got to the hospital and I'm waiting to see my doctor. I have a non-stress test. But I wanted to take a moment to show you guys this beautiful newborn food. They have them all over the hospital, but isn't that so adorable? Oh my gosh, it reminds me of Niazun. Anyway, I'm still waiting for my doctor, so I'm just here chilling. Ooh, wish me luck. So I'm all hooked up. Look at this cute baby picture. This one is a different office. It's so adorable. I have this set up here. And this little clicker, just to click when the baby moves. Mo, these people too do. I'm in another room, a proper hospital room. Because this is like a 
I think it was delivery room. The person, I don't know, the NST was not really working out. It was inconclusive, so I had to come to the birth center to do this. <sighs> it's just stressing me out. I'm tired. At least the bed is more comfortable because that other one that was laying in was giving me like scatica. My hip and leg was spinning me. So this is a lot more comfortable. But I've been here for hours. I just can't wait to get this done and get back home to my family. Hi guys, good morning. So today I'm going to complete the shopping for the baby and myself. Like I've not packed my hospital bag, I've not done anything. So you guys let me go and complete the shopping. Like when I mean shopping for the baby, I have most of the stuff, but I just want to buy like make sure the toiletries are on par and uh, what else? Toiletries for myself and the pajamas and you know all that good stuff basically so that's why i'm going there today <laughs> the kids already gave me a list to so decide to buy spider-man robots and batman robots anyway so my uber is almost here i'm about to head out now um i didn't even have breakfast nothing because i'm like now that is morning let me just get it done with so that you know i don't get tired because i tend to get tired closer in the afternoons anyway i'll see you guys in target in this area looking for cozy pgs and there's a lot of cozy ones here i mean i got some last year but it's like washed so let me just show you guys this is the pants i picked but then when i went to get the matching shirt it has shorts inside so i think i'm just going to take the, sh the pants and then pick a random top uh, look at this thing for bathing a child i don't know if it's necessary but i already have this thing and there's some more bath toys here i don't know if it's necessary because baby's going to be so tiny but like i'm thinking of naya also there's more ah you guys Naya, is, she these kind of things will entertain her because when she's having her bath she's usually over the place but i don't know if it's worth buying now i don't know this little bathrobe this little bathrobe is so cute it's so freaking cute baby wearer mirror I'm gonna have to go to the car seat area soon. Ah, gosh. Okay, so this is basically the baby's bath, bath time stuff. So, hey, Aquafuna has wash and shampoo, which is so nice. I don't know, maybe I should try it. Ordinarily, I already told you guys, Dove is what Naya uses, this one. Or oh, Avino, this one. So, is it I get this one? Or I get Dove? I don't know, I'm so confused. This one is small though. I prefer the bigger size. We've tried Mostella before and it worked really well. But it's expensive, it's like $17 for one bottle. Whereas this one is $15 for the smaller size of both. I'm just getting there. I mean, I decided to get this Cetaphil daily lotion because Cetaphil is what I use on my skin and it's really moisturizing. So, yeah. See this nice dapper bag? I was just passing and I saw it and I'm like, what? $70? <laughs> it's not fine again though. It's not ideally what when I see something I like if the price is too much, you somehow not finding my eye again because of the price. That's just what happened with that diaper bag. So there's CP cups here. Now I just drinks from the cup straight away. So I don't know if I should just get one of this kind or I don't know. I don't know. I've been hearing there's formula shortage in this country. Like see, see, just look at the formula shelf basically empty there's nothing here try sad though time around i don't know if i should get a baby monitor because baby will be in my room and i'm never going to leave the baby unsupervised but it's nice to know that i have options and then i'm looking at this car seat and stroller combo as well because the other one i have is in nigeria and it looks pretty nice but i can't seem to find it oh it's 400 dollars nope nope because i'm going to leave the one i buy here so it's not worth 400 dollars i need to find something like like Two hundred dollars, maybe this one. I think this one is two hundred and thirty-four, which is not bad. This is the kind I'm looking for. Even this one that is two nineteen. Try anyway. I'll, when I get home, I'll decide with my sister and then buy one. We're looking for girl child. Just get ready for your money to finish. Says I'm just walking by here. Even though I promised myself I'm not buying any more stuff for Naya, I'm so attracted to everything here. Like, look at this dress now. Look at this dress. Will it not look beautiful, my daughter? Hey, see, voila. Anyway, let me walk up past. 
Let me just walk up past. Big girl things now. This is even just target. Though. Look at this. Like I'm so attracted to it. Like I'm. I want to buy it. But like, see, something should have grown soon. But it's so nice, and it has light. I know my daughter will love it. I'll just put it in my cart and decide later. And this will be her size currently. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Got this um, gummy vitamins because when I was taking my multi, uh, multivitamin as a pregnant woman, but my prenatal is just difficult. So I think this will be nice. Easy to pick up myself some original dough because I've been smelling misty for some time. So the original will have to cut it. I can't do any of that aluminum free thing. Be good. I have this skin condition where basically after having a shower, I scratched myself like crazy. Recently stopped, and I find that because I'm using this oats body wash, it really really helps and it's pretty affordable like $4.99. There's one by Avino as well, but I can't find it. But it usually helps one by Avino that has oats as well for really dry skin. So I don't know. I don't need it yet, Sha, so I'll just leave it for now. But I usually stock up when I'm going back to Nigeria. Now, this is the place that I like to shop. <laughs> yeah, my mom was here. She will not let me hear what. She'll be like, Chandler, please don't waste my time. Let's go. This is usually what attracts me in every department store. But today this is not the time they are waiting for me to make a car at home so i better start heading home i better start heading home but look at this echo car mini waffle maker so many nice things if i leave there so my money will be wasting all these things well i normally use set a few but i'm doing i think i should try this one so i think i'll try it because it's also for the same dry skin I'll try it, shall we? Let's see how it works. Let's see how well it works. I got everything that I needed that is on my list. And I don't think I need too much damage. I mean, um, yeah, these are all things that have been on my list since I came here that I need to buy before even giving birth. Because once I give birth, I'll not be as mobile. And now I'm not buying anything again till after I give birth, okay? Whew. I'm so exhausted. I want to make Akara and Biscoff. Uh, stuffed french toast that was on the menu for this morning once i'm done with that then i'll figure out what else i can cook And I'm editing this video that you're watching right now. So, yeah, I just wanted to tell you that whew, today was a stressful day. We finished eating that akara, then I cooked jollof rice, stew, macaroni for the kids because my sister is completely out of it and my mom is not feeling well as well. So, I had to just step up and just do something because otherwise we'll have to order food. And I just feel bad for my sister, like, ordering food all the time. It will not work out like it's it's just not sustainable you know um so yeah i finished doing all that after the car and then i just came here and i just passed out like i just completely passed out like oh and i also wanted to clarify i feel like the non-stress test i did in the hospital i didn't update you guys it went well so i went to the birth center to the to do this test again and like the thing they put a band across your tummy, right? So it goes on and off because it might shift and you'll not be getting the baby's heartbeat. So you know in Dutch now they too do. They ask for an ultrasound. The ultrasound really came in, so the baby's fine. So I spent like five hours in the hospital, but I shall went home knowing that the baby's fine. Um and yeah, I came back and I just forgot to update you guys, hence why it was just like that. But yeah, I finished cooking today and I'm pretty much showing you all that we bought for the babies. Um we are so excited in this house. The excitement is unreal, but we also know it's going to be a lot of work. I feel bad for my mom because she will not even know where to start from. You know, with three babies, it's going to be a lot of work. But we thank God for His blessings. We thank God because ah, many people are looking for this, and we are very grateful that He just blessed us. You know, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> I don't know what the next one will be, but I have an idea. Something I did last year with Naya, so some of you may guess it. 
but i'm going to do a different spin to it this time around so i'm excited to film it um but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video okay bye